an amazing athlete for such a big man. And for a big period of his career, he was one of the best front rowers in the game. Uh, a unique athlete in terms of his size, his motor, and his ability. So, brother David in attendance. You saw Josh Dugan there, and as I said, plenty of friends and family. It, it looked all over for him last year. Certainly his rugby league career. It's quite the story that he has made it to game number 200. He was so good in that grand final in 2016. Joined the club in 2012 after a couple of seasons at the West Tigers. Well done, Andrew Fafita, on reaching 200 games in the Shire. So he'll go to the bench where he's been coming on as a pinch hitter in season 2022. And of course, it is Indigenous round. So the ceremonies will continue here. You've got Cronulla 7 and 4, the Roosters 6 and 5. Both sides a little up and down in recent weeks, very evenly matched. Yep. The Roosters were beaten by the Panthers in the end comfortably, but were very good for 30 minutes of the game. The week before, their magic round win against the Eels, I thought was their best performance of the season. Uh, and it's a, it's been a bit hit and miss for the Sharks too. Since round six, it's been win-loss, win-loss. That has been the sequence for them. And it's been a, a challenging month of footy. Two wins, two losses. Uh, we'll see whether they can get back in some consistency, but they have won all five games here at Shark Park. As has been the case all weekend, lots of Indigenous players on show as we take you down to the field. Now players to stand united in a boomerang formation as we recognise and celebrate our First Nations people's association to the land for more than 60,000 years. To conduct our welcome to country tonight, please welcome local elder, Artie Deanna Shriver. Good evening, Cronulla. It's an honour to be here this evening for our Indigenous round on the land of the Gwigal of the Darawal Nation and Darawal Language Group. I pay my respects to my elders that have passed and that have made the sacrifices so that we could be here tonight. I pay my respect to all elders that are here on this ground. To my non-Indigenous brothers and sisters who have supported us and embraced our culture, thank you. Tonight is a special evening, as all Indigenous rounds, to celebrate our cultures and coming together. What we have to remember and what we have to do is to respect each other's culture. That way, it will break down the barriers and the stereotyping. So please, respect our differences so we can live a fruitful life. Thank you very much and welcome to country. Footy fans, please thank Auntie Diana Schreiber. All right, what's been great about these ceremonies they've been unique all six games we've had so far it's been a slightly different flavor to each so the stage is set here at points bet stadium Cronulla unbeaten at this venue they're starting to turn this venue which they just returned to into the old visitors graveyard it was for so many years one change, no Wade Graham. He's out with a foot injury, so Teague Wilton starts again. And Tom Hazelton, wait till you see him. He's a giant from Goulburn. He'll uh, come off the bench in jersey number 19. Yeah, interesting to see how that man goes tonight. Nico Hines, the kicking game will be absolutely crucial. Been a while since these sides have met. James Tedesco back in try scoring form. He scored in four straight games. That's the same 17 that went toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with Penrith for quite some time last week at the SCG before the Panthers ran away. So from Shark Park, we're on our way. And a bit of confusion. And Talakai with those soft hands. Strong enough to stay in the field of play, but a nervous start for the home team. So five from five here, Cronulla, most of them by big margins. In fact, four of those five by 20 plus. Royce Hunt playing it now, and there's Talakai again. 
Some say a little quiet in the last month. No tries, no try assists. Still pumping out good 150 metres a game. T. Wilton been excellent in that starting second row position this year. As Hines is going to kick before the last. And that is from inside the 40. And that had Tupo on his skates, but a good result for Cronulla. But uh, no harm done for the Roosters. Yep. A couple of nervous moments there with that kickoff. Dan hit the ground and could have bounced anyway. Cronulla did end up with the ball through Talakai. And not a bad first set. Mikael Hines was in position, had the angle for the 40 20, just fell short. He met this well, earlier last year. Cronulla led 18 4 at the SCG and in his, just his second game. Sam Walker carried the Roosters on his back and brought them back to a 26 18 win. That was a long time ago. Hutchison starting again. Tankayaho to Warrior Hargreaves. Tough little stretch here for the Roosters. Lindsay Collins, surely origin bound, missing out last year because of that knee injury. Inside Sharks territory, Takayaho onto a running walker, delivering a ball for Momorowski, who steps inside Tracy. And Hines is there, but good signs for the Roosters on the last. Kiri eventually gets the kick away. Suwali, almost. Oh, that was imposing. That kick wasn't that high from Sam Walker. Suwali got there so quickly. I, I gave him little chance in the end. Probably fell a half a foot short of getting a play at the ball. But he is a spectacular player. And what a battle it is over that side of the field. Mulatalo up against Joseph Suwali. That boy doesn't turn 19 until September. Well, Cronulla. Defend early. One of the things Suwali has been good at is, is, is tough meters. He was well contained. Slow starters this year, the Roosters in games, and that's unusual under Trent Robinson. Three times this year they've scored first. A chance here. Kiri on to Takayaho. Powerful run to the 20. Collins lines up. Now Keary. Front man Crichton. Crowd thought it was forward. Quick play the ball. Tedesco's got it backpedaling. Kennedy and Tracy up there. One tackle left. Short side. Hutchison goes for it all. Oh, what a pass and what a majestic pickup from Daniel Tupo. And they have manufactured a try. The Roosters, what about the hands of Daniel Tupo? Injury problems have made it tough for the Roosters through the first half of the year. And, and Drew Hutchison filling in at number nine, I think has done a terrific job. And well, there's a great example of it. Just what he's been able to provide the side. He's tough, he's a good defender, he can kick the ball, but that is a miracle pass and a pick up there by Daniel Tupo on his boots that one was as Hutchison surged for the line realized he wasn't going to get there and just flung it out the back and Tupo's done a great job to pick it up control it and then improve the position what a bad start off the back of a repeat set after Suwali challenged Mulatalo cross field kick from Sam Walker Gutsy then, play from from Hutchison on the last. Well, he saw a chance. He saw half a chance, and, and that's what you want. You, you want your players to do that. When he has started for the Roosters, and we know this has been a problematic position, but when he is the starting dummy half, they're five wins and two losses this year. So they've had their best results when he's kicked off games. So Walker, his kicking has been much improved this year. And it's improved as the year's gone on. His um, distance is no problem. Accuracy uh, certainly has improved. Tedesco was stopped in his tracks, came down that short side after. Crichton played the ball extremely quickly. And it was good defence from the Sharks, but they just couldn't wrap the ball up there. 
who Drew Hutchison jump, jumped out of dummy half. I said before the game there was a real buzz, real electricity. It is tied down completely. Roosters have taken the crowd out of the game quickly. So Walker goes straight down the middle and it bounces off the upright. So, no goal, but it's the Roosters on top. Four points to nil. As we say, hello to Jake Duke on the sideline. Yeah, good evening, gentlemen. Daniel Tupo, he loves scoring tries against the Sharks. That's nine tries in 12 matches now for the Roosters' tall winger. He gets them over first. And as you mentioned, Dan, it has really quietened down the crowd here. 11,500 fans here in the Shire tonight. A sellout crowd, and they won't be happy with that start and you mentioned what a graveyard it's been here for the Sharks this year winning all five games but the Roosters they are one of the few teams that have a good record here they're actually shooting for four straight victories here at points bet stadium as uh, this one goes back to the Roosters and we are back in the underway thank you Jake yeah, it is a sellout even though there are some seats uh, not quite filled at this point they certainly came in late here and now a penalty boy oh boy this is a this is a tough start for the Sharks. Yeah, not what they wanted, was it? Off the back of points, they give a penalty away and they'll give Roosters field position immediately. On the red line, fellas. Hold to the kick, I'll tell you where. Hold. So they start on halfway. It's Collins powering up into three defenders. And lining up now, Warrior Hargreaves. Rudolph and Braley are there, but already up to the 30. Kiri back inside. Collins again. Boy, he's been busy. There's Takayaho. Now Kiri. Again, the deft pass for Crichton. He pokes his way inside the 10. A couple of tackles to work with. Kiri, the show, then the pass. Tedesco on. Almost the audacious flick back there from Manu. Need to hold on here, the Sharks. Kiri. Momorowski! Oh, he had a chance. It comes out for Kennedy, and it's a Roosters knock-on. Early days, but they had to survive that, Cronulla. Yeah, spot-on kick there from Luke Keary. Got into a little bit of space there. There was Nico Hines on his own. Dropped the ball on his head. Momorowski up over the top. I thought he, he had it in his hands, Dan. His Talakai runs into a brick wall of Roosters defenders. There were five of them there ready to meet him. As Wilton goes up. The short side. So leaders are hard to come by at the moment for the home side. And Craig Fitzgibbon we just saw a shot of the former rooster himself. Now the head coach of the Sharks in the box. Nakora getting it on. Hines explores. Kennedy delays the pass. Moylan on to Wilton. Now Talakai with room. Bulatalo. Well, we caught one there off Suwali. Referee says that's okay, so Mortala just keeps going. And then underarms it into touch. Well, it, it, it stopped Mortala in his tracks. And I, I think everyone was prepared for the, the whistle to blow. Yeah, cuffed him high, went over the top of his head. But then the pass. Oh, well, nearly. Well, this is a changeover for the Roosters. There's, there's no... Change the decision coming. Oh. You just saw on that other angle. Somali's arm went up over the top of his head. Toby off now. He's dead. Hold. More pressure now is Takayaho. Crashing his way to the 30. Real purpose about the Roosters forward pack at the moment. Butcher now. Kiri. Oh, Hines rushed up. Tedesco keeps it going. Momorowski the juggle. Tracy comes away with it. Well, probably no need for Tedesco to push it on so quickly. He needed to, the, the, the ball wasn't a good one for him. Um, then that, him just batting it on like he did made it even tougher for Momorowski to take. Plex looking, Trent Robinson there. Be put into the grandstand. So here's some fuel position for the Sharks to work with. As Hutchison raced up to meet Royce Hunt. 
will set restart of the night. Making a beeline for Kiri, who's up to the challenge. That goes to Rudolph. Braley was excellent last week against the Gold Coast. On to Moylan. Now Hines, the bullet to Talakai. Manu misses. Suali just does enough. Well, Manu slipped over and then recovered pretty quickly, though. Good chance for Talakai in the early minutes. And Hines runs into a cul-de-sac. Still a couple of tackles left. To the open for Moylan. Kennedy on that familiar run. Nakora against the grain. And then snaffled by Moylan. McInnes. Oh, oh. Talakai. That was a little too cute. But Mulatalo this touch. time keeps it in. And it's six again. So off Rooster's hands. This loses that, mate. But you go push down. And it's a penalty, Cronulla. Now yeah, off a Rooster's hand. The quick bat on there from... Oh, he did well. Mulatalo. Kiri's given away the penalty just with that last little shove. Bit of ball down this end for the Sharks now. And the crowd does get back involved in this. Wait, boys here. Brian Atkins not happy. Now we're away. Oh, splashing into Takayaho. Here's McInnes. Going down the middle. Straight into Collins. Looking to fall on his front quickly. Sharp play the ball. Braley now to Moylan. Sizing it up. And look, Maria Hargreaves in the eye. And Maria Hargreaves collared him. So they've opened the right up again. And Braley brings in Hines. Now Kennedy. Holding it, Tracy, it's not crisp, and Katoa holds on. Perhaps a missed chance, though, for the Sharks. And now a settler here with McInnes, so it comes down to the last. Now Hines pouring through here to Desco, grounds it. Clever use of the goal post there. In the end, Tedesco, it didn't get away from him. Yeah, look, he wasn't far from the ball, James Tedesco, but the fact that it hit the the upright pads, as we have a look at the movement here from the Sharks, and he was missing, and he's been missing for the last couple of games, Will Kennedy. Just an indication of what he's going to do for his outside men. The Moylan kick was clever. Tedesco was there. His hands on the ball before that chase got there. The pressure increases. That's right. After soaking up all that early pressure, they did concede Cronulla. Now yeah, they're enjoying a good period. And there's a, plenty of grunt in these tackles. Hunt's fourth run. Not a big minute player. Rudolph is a big minute player. He's lost it. He's put it down. And there's relief for the Roosters. That's a cheap let off on tackle two. That is very box disappointing, on. and that man would be feeling the same. Dale Finucane in the box with Craig Fitzgibbon tonight, and there's the fumble from Toby Rudolph. Still had four tackles left in that set. So there so he is, Tom Hazelton, and that, that doesn't do him justice. He's 198 centimetres, so when he stands up, he'll tower above them. Good story. 23 from Goulburn. Presented with his jersey by the great Gavin Miller, maybe the greatest of all the Sharks, who apparently spotted Tom back in the day. There's a loose high tackle from all that, Moylan. Yeah, all that pressure that the Sharks just put on the Roosters just evaporated there with a Toby Rudolph mistake and, and then a high shot from Matt Moylan. No, not much in it, just a, a grabbing action, but deemed enough for a penalty. Sharks fans going, hang on. Mulatalo get clipped top of the head. 
You win some, you lose some. Now, here's one of our hard groups. You see again, the Roosters start a set inside Sharks territory. Collins really been determined from the outset. Richardson now. The cleanest pass. Butcher, though. Steady. Oh, he went for the pass. That's off Cronulla hands. That's a lucky break for the Roosters, but it's six more. Maria Hargreaves almost to the 10. Kiri. Crichton. Oh, the flick passed. Oh, Tedesco. That would have been outrageous. And this time it's the Sharks given a let off. No, Tedesco certainly making some sort of case to the referee. I don't think he'll win that one. He almost dragged it in, Angus Crichton, who's been very good down the left, running hard. Hard and straight, Crichton. As is Lindsay Collins, they've got a couple of their forwards that are really digging into this Cronulla defence, standing in the tackle. It's an offload. Too tough to pull that one in. A few nerves around. A lot of passes being pushed. Very pleasant night here. A little chilly, but... Um, As slippery as it can often be as we approach winter in Sydney. And I'll come into this game in fourth position as Tracy takes the line on. He's going to move off and make him feel better to get through that run after that, that error a short time ago. Can play the ball now as McInnes. Hunt's got a back pedaling. Certainly trying to make Kiri work in defence. He's been forced to make seven tackles so far. So Hines, not easy for Suwali, but he's got the leap. There's the try scorer, Daniel Tupo. It's been a testing few weeks for the Roosters. That momentous win over Parramatta and then Penrith last week. So, tough little period of the draw. They could come away with a win tonight and get two out of three in this three-week week run. It's a pretty good result. Oh, he got away from Nikora briefly. Through another set here, and it's Walker to kick. And Kennedy back inside his 10. Back from a two week suspension. Oh, where's the shoulder there of Luke Keary? And, and Kennedy knocked about by that. Yeah, down on his haunches there, Will Kennedy. with a big smile on his face as McInnes fell there. Now Braley. We saw half a chance there. Angus Crichton turned out around to the referee, signalling for a, an error from the Sharks, but almost allowed Braley to take off down the middle. Now here's Kennedy on the left this time. Talakai again got rid of Manu effortlessly. Suwali important, but Talakai is giving Manu all sorts of troubles. And now... They wanted six again there with Wilton. He thought he was running into a defender who wasn't entitled to take him. Gee, that was an important tackle by Joseph Sawali. He was backpedalling as he went past, as Talakai went past Joey Manu. He, Sawali was in a very awkward position, trying to get back to cover his winger, ended up making a one-on-one -on -one stuff uh, on Sifa Talakai. Outstanding stuff. The sharpest Talakai's looked for it for a few weeks. He's been well contained, hasn't he? Outside, inside, Tedesco gets away and just held down. They go the pants again. Good roll on here. There's the kick from Walker. It's Kiri coming through, needs the bounce. Kennedy nonchalant. Oh, and then he cops it from Suwali. And he's hurt Kennedy. Well, he didn't get to ground quick enough. That's what he was trying to do, get to ground just in the field of play. But Sawali got to him just before he touched down. And this is going to be Rooster's ball. That was a big shot. 
Look how low Sawali got to make that tackle. And Kennedy was only inches off the ground. Trying to make the safe play and get in the, back into the field. He doesn't muck around, does he, Sawali? He's 18. But whether he's got the ball or he hasn't, it's, it's all, it's all he very hard. He doesn't shirk it. He wouldn't think it's a boy playing against men. So it's Rooster's ball via a scrum 10 metres out. Well, he's, he's just saved a try because there was a try brewing down that left side with Talakai and Mulatalo outside him, unmarked. So Ali shut it down and now forced the error. So Walker on the right here. Hold! Kiri jumping out to the left. He's got Tedesco. There he comes. And a familiar attempt to tap on. We're gone early here. Cronulla break from the scrum early. Well, come back to that point. Well, they can pack the scrum again, too. And that's what they're doing. Now the pressure is on to stay in the scrum. You might end up in the bin if you break from the scrum too quick this one. I think they'll go the same way here, Brandy. Well, they didn't get that one right, so they might They might try and perfect the same play. So again, walk on the right to Desco. Jumping out to the left. Yeah, here we go. Kiri. There he hits to Desco. Oh my goodness, that's effortless. That's just a thing of beauty. So, so simple. Tupo has a double and the Roosters draw away. Eight points to nil. Well, that is training, isn't it? The training, you get a couple of cracks. You make an error, you do the same. You do the same move. You do the same play until you get it right. Well, they got two chances. The first one they didn't. They mucked it up, but the execution of that one was spot on. And Daniel Tupo, there wasn't a shark in sight. Kiri's ability to engage those inside defenders close to the scrum just left Daniel Tupo with oodles of room down that touchline. There's Sione Katoa, and there's 10 metres of empty space there for Daniel Tupo to run it in. How does that happen? Well, they all bite. On the, the, and the, Kiri went to the defence so quickly that he threatened the inside defenders. So they have to react. They can't take their eyes and start to slide. Kiri is the threat. That, that's Kiri is a is a great ball player because of that reason. He goes quickly at the defence and he forces the defenders to make a decision. I, I, you can't let him go, and therefore you can't slide. Well, they're on tonight. The Roosters. Good decision to repack that scrum. So Walker was a little closer, wasn't he, with his first kick, and that hit the left upright. Not a bad strike, though, nonetheless. He'll fancy his chances here. That's a lovely kick, and it's 10 points to nil. Down to you, Jay Duke. Yeah, it's a battle of the uh, master versus apprentice tonight in the coach's box, isn't it, boys? Craig Fitzgibbon going up against his mentor in Trent Robinson. Fitzgibbon obviously worked under Robinson, was his right-hand man at the Roosters from 2013. Together, they won three premierships, four minor premierships, and three World Club challenges. And both men were asked about their relationships this week. And Trent Robinson, he, ever the professional, said he'll wax lyrical about uh, Craig Fitzgibbon one other day, but he did said he is one of his best mates, and that's not going to change wherever he is and Craig Fitzgibbon said without Trent Robinson's guidance he didn't know where he would be in the NRL so the master getting a little bit of an early advantage his side is up 10-0 they love each other but if there's one you want to win it's against uh, the, the, the bloke so close to you of course it is it means more you know it does they can deny all they want but it definitely means more another powerful run from Collins Hutchison, influential in his first 22 minutes. Well, it's been a great start from the front rowers. You, you, we've mentioned Lindsay Collins a, a number of times already and how hard he is running as Tedesco gets out of dummy half, but Maria Hargreaves has backed him up. Eight runs, both been outstanding. So Suwali is on his skates, but he can't make an impression there. Talakai using himself as a speed bump. So an easy catch from Olatalo. 
Well, got a bit of ground to cover here, the Sharks. Roosters haven't lost a game all year in which they've had any lead. Oh, jeez. Collins went for it all there on Wilton. McGuinness. Rudolph early ball. Hines along to Tracy. Momorowski just backing back. Yeah, he's a very good defensive centre, Paul Momorowski. Handled Connor Tracy there. Nice and comfortable with that. Now Kennedy, they're going to run it here on the last, it seems. Now the kick finally comes from Tracy, but straight to Tedesco. A little rattled here, Cronulla. Move down against Parramatta. I just saw Kiri with the trainer there. I'm not sure what's happened. He's grabbing mm. the side of his head or his eye. Mm. Bit of discomfort for the Roosters halfback. Takayaho beats the tackle of Moyley. Trying to put his hand up to the bench just to say, no, it's okay. Looks like Cronulla did overcome a deficit against Parramatta here. That's the closest they've come to losing at this venue. As Kiri now, oh, he's fine. Again, plenty of metres, although Kiri again showing a bit of concern there for the left side of his face. A lot of kicking to Mulatalo. Comes out to Tracy. Rainey in back next week. This is the final week of his three game suspension. Tower trying to give them a roll on. Holman in game 306. Now Rudolph's beautiful pass. McInnes into the backfield. Can't find anyone to link up with. Collins, that was excellent cover there. He cut off the possibility of a pass as it comes down to Hines. Oh, what a catch. Sam Walker snaffles that one. Yeah, they just haven't been able to ice it down this end of the field. A couple of errors, a couple of passes that have hit the ground, a couple of penalties. Now Nico Hines drives that one in to the Roosters player as Tupo makes some good metres off a hit up. But lovely play there from Cameron McInnes and Toby Rudolph. Sam Walker, great reflexes. So the first official line break is down. Maria Hargreaves is dropped, although Talakai went through, didn't he, earlier? This is about three line breaks as it comes from Walker away to a stepping Crichton. Walker floating it. Maria Hargreaves in no man's land, so he just does what he knows best. They're kicking from pretty close to the line here. They're going for Suwali this time. Tupo and Momorowski. That's play on. That's good stuff. That's Takayaho. Now Joey Manu holding it with one hand. Oh, Suwali had a little look. And now Mulatalo, look out. Yeah, they steady the Roosters and now bring it back here and play it where the knock on occurred. Crichton's been a colossus down this left side. Standing in the tackle, the offload, which started the play. They swing it right out to Joseph Sawali. I was looking forward to that little one-on-one -on -one battle there. Sawali just putting the ball down. Ooh, Tala there straight into a couple of big men. Collins and Takayaho. Collins wanted to rip it out. Came up on Hines quickly there. Gets it on to Tracy. They've got away from Walker, but not Crichton. Completion rate's pretty good from these sides. And three failed completions each. These are high-quality teams, so not to be unexpected. We'll be up around the 80% mark. Hines now on the last. A conservative kick here as Tupo, no problem but nowhere to go. Well, the, the kick was short enough for the defence to get down there to make the tackle. Still not a lot of pressure on Daniel Tupo. Here's one of those runs for Suwali. Oh, what a pass! Tedesco keeps Beautiful. it going. This is gorgeous. Now Kiri's away. He'll need to do it on his own and he'll just take the tackle. This is imposing stuff from the Roosters. Manu, 
Sizes it up, draws them in, gives it to Nadesco. The flick pass. Just delightful. Matt Butcher finishes it off. And we're getting... We're getting a terrific version of the Roosters tonight. Yeah, the kick from Nico Hines wasn't a deep one. Daniel Tupo took it with ease. But then it was the offload, and the offloads are killing the Sharks. Six to the Roosters, and Joseph Sawali, after hitting the defensive line hard, keeps his arms free, offloads oh, oh, oh. to Tedesco. Not the first time. I've seen Sawali do that a number of times. And then Kiri just pushing up into space. Tedesco hits him with a nice flat ball. They go down the same side, and it's Joey Mann who's skipping out, drags in Talakai. That creates the 2 on one after Tedesco beats the diving tackle of Matt Moylan. And then he himself flicks it out. Moylan just pushed off and allowed that butcher there some space down that right touch line. That was great footy. Yeah, that was great footy from the Shark, from the Roosters. Awesome just third try of the year for Butcher. By the way, the, Kira continues to show concern for where he copped that knock a few minutes ago, but he keeps going and he's not afraid to. Well, it hasn't take affected how he's playing. Not at all. It? Not at all. Not affecting his talking either. Well, 14 nil. And Tedesco laying on the pass for Luke Keary. So he gets a line break assist there for the bus, then ducks around the same side of the field and lays on the flick pass for Nat Butcher. So very quickly, line break assist, try assist for that man, James Tedesco. Heavily involved in everything the Roosters have done tonight. And the big fellas for the Roosters looking good and the big guns out the back as well. So the Roosters here making a bit of a statement in this first half. First kick for Walker on the right side tonight. Nice and full that hill. Not making much noise at the moment though. And that is going to sneak in. He's got a love affair with that left upright. This time it works for him. 16 points to nil. Now, don't forget, Airpol State of Origin is only days away. And you see their tickets for Sydney, just 49 bucks. That's what they start at. It's going to be a good series too. Marone's uh, hill been on proving out. Uh, they have what it takes to, to beat Freddy's Blues. Showed some good signs game three last year. This is a ticket just 49 bucks, so don't miss your chance to witness Australia's greatest sporting rivalry live. NRL.com slash tickets to secure your seat today. Those teams named next couple of days. Blues tomorrow night, Queensland Monday. And here he comes now, Andrew Fafida in game 200. Tommy Hazelton warming up as well. So a big moment for both these, uh, both these men. And a little sparky, the Sharks. There's Tupanua coming off the bench. Butcher, Walker, Crichton, again running a tough line. Continue to work the left. Walker. Monorowski. Gorgeous again. Tupo Tedesco. Oh, this is something. This is a sight to behold. The Roosters, when they are on song, it is just beautiful. Again, from the other side of halfway, they come down a short side. And it's... Ma Walker that throws a great ball to Momorowski, but he had some work to do after Katoa jammed in on him and somehow just very quickly transferred it out to Daniel Tupo. Walker squares them up. Look at that. Look at that pass there and the take from Tupo. Just loping along down that touch line, throws it in to, to James Tedesco. Try assist only moments ago, now scores one. But the catch pass from Momorowski was 
was great to watch. Maybe, Brandy, they're a bit closer to the mark than we've been giving them credit for. They were wonderful against Parramatta in Magic Round. That was the game of the weekend. And they're not the first team this year to cop it off Penrith. And that was pretty competitive. So, starting to put some good things together. It, they are. Now, you spoke about the run that they've just gone through. The Eels, the Panthers, the Sharks. Uh, the three matches they played before that, the Gold Coast, the Dogs, the Dragons. Well, they were beaten by the Dogs and the Dragons. And there was plenty of questions asked mm. about the Roosters. Are they the real deal? Can they, can they win the Premiership? Can they, can they even make the top four after they were, were rolled by the Dragons and the Dogs? Uh, and their middles have been questioned. Their halves have been questioned. The rhythm of their attack. They've, you know, I've heard, plenty, I've heard plenty of statements about the Roosters being clunky. That's not tonight. Tonight, the rhythm is there. Uh, and that's the way they looked in at Magic Ground. The two halves, Walker and, and Keary, were outstanding in Magic Ground, and they've been very good tonight. Well, that was the question, wasn't it, the first couple of months, that could they combine? Well, we've seen a couple of very good examples the last three weeks. It's all working tonight. Both sides of the field, from, from the fullback to the front rowers who have... Set it up with their, their tough play. Collins and, and Maria Hargreaves. 18 runs between them. It's been some tough stuff. Maria Hargreaves, 87 metres. Collins, 70. And, uh, plenty of advice coming the way of Sam Walker here. It's, they're not going to hurry him up. And they might have just put him off, though. 20 points to nil, though. Four tries. Devastating first half. And... Let's not forget his contribution, James Tedesco. Yeah, devastating first half from James Tedesco. A try, a line break, two try assists. He's already run for 99 metres and he's been in red hot form the last couple of weeks. He's now scored a try in five straight games. That's actually seven tries in his past five games. And what a time to do it because Origin teams announced tomorrow he is the New South Wales captain and that'll make Brandy very happy to see his star fullback in such red hot touch. Very happy to take Yes. Also 100 super coach points. I know a lot of you are asking. Okay, Andrew, Toby Square. Hold, hold. And another impressive performer in the first half, Joseph Suwali. Four tries, 20 to nothing. Yeah, well, the thing Suwali's done out in that right winger. Which is part of the reason why the Roosters lead 20 nil. One of the try scorers, Butcher. Another efficient set. Huge kick from, from inside the 40. Hutchison leading the race in the chase there to bring Katoa down. Well, what can the Sharks do here, Brandy? How do they how do they turn this around? Oh, there's a strong tackle from Tupanua on Mulatalo for Fida. Well, there's an offload. But just defenders everywhere. Well, they are rushing the Sharks. Making metres would be a start in this set, Dan, to get them out of their own end. Play four now, and Tolman will just hit one up, which leaves them just short of the 40 on, on the last play. And there he is. Tom Hazelton. Nice moment for him making his debut. Can he make an impact? Tedesco not panicking there. Yeah, there's a nice tackle from the 23-year-old. So he's on his way. Roosters uh, looking at him straight into stride. as they've been. On a Watson into the game as well. But Hutchison staying in the contest. Here's Watson. They put up some scores uh, this year in first halves, the Roosters, even though they haven't been at their best. Walker. And bounce. Is not good. Something finally goes the Sharks' way. 
Well, they needed something just to break the momentum that the Roosters have had for, for most of this first half. That, that could be it, giving them seven tackles. They spent a bit of the first half down the other end. But... Nice round of applause for Hazleton. Just didn't make that pressure count when they had the ball down the other end of the field, the Sharks. And here's the second run of the night for Boylan. Well, they could score just before the break would give them something, wouldn't it? As now Hazelton trying to get involved. Here's the feeder early ball, Hines. Seems to jag back inside with Walker rushing up on his outside. The feeder, straight and hard. Looking to fall on his front. Quick play the ball. Last tackle. Hines. Looking for Katoa, not going to win that aerial battle, although it comes back and eventually finds the way of the Roosters. It's a Cronulla knock-off. Knock it is a Roosters knock-off. Yeah, I thought Daniel Tupo got up above everyone else, had his hands. Sure, he touched the ball first. That's the way the referee's seen it. Well, here we go. 10 metres out. Yeah. Big moment of the game if Cronulla are going to mount a comeback. Come together, backs. Yeah, they've been completely outplayed in this first half today. If they could walk off at half time with a try under their belt. And they'll feel a lot better about themselves. Deep right side here, Moylan. Oh, Tracy! Hammered by Tupo. One out goes Britton Nakora. Hines and Moylan on the left. It's the feeder. Hazelton steaming onto it. Left again. Hines. Running once and twice and kind of ricocheted off Butcher, but not played at. Brayley keeps it alive. Beautiful pickup. Oh, for feeder! Almost puts Nakora in. But a forward pass. It's been pulled up. It's just not happening for the Sharks. Oh, sorry, you can't challenge it. You can't challenge it. You can't challenge it, Matt, because the actual decision of a forward pass is what stops it. And we can't challenge that. Fuck on. No. Pass. Sorry, fellas. It is the same play. But because it we was a clever it pass from Fafida. He caught it behind him. Probably. It's close. Come in. Well, he's added something to their attack, but well, they, they've been down this end again, and they just have, they've come away with them with nothing. Well, they've had more tackles inside the Roosters' 20 than, than the other way. 11 to four, in fact. Wow, the Roosters have scored four tries. They've had four tackles inside Cronulla's 20. Yeah, but their last two came from the other side mm. of halfway, didn't they? Yeah. And one came from a scrum play, which made up no tackles. So two minutes left here. The Roosters, they, they led Manly 22-0 at the break. They led North Queensland 20-0. And it was a terrific win. Good leads over Gold Coast and Parramatta as well. So... We've had this ability to, to really lay a platform in games in 2022. Tedesco, Butcher into it. And a little knock on from Butcher. And then Kiri kicks it away. And Yeah, and the referee says we're going to call time off after time, time. about Hence. seven Cronulla players pointed out the ball had been booted away. Nice catch, Grant. Well, they've got one set to, to do something here. Half time coming up. Jess running the show on this Saturday night. She'll take you uh, with her team through the first half here and aftermath of. Uh, the two early games here on Super Saturday. There's Tracy. And 
through Hazelton. He's tough to put down. Rudy's fourth run. More than the Hines. Oh, and hitting the line there was Wilton. The pass not connecting. Look out, Tedesco. Needs to keep this going. Errors, that, yeah. errors from the, the Sharks. They've made less than the, the Roosters. They've only come up with five errors, but they have been down this end of the field when they've had the Roosters under a little bit of pressure. That pass from Hines just behind Teague Wilton fractionally. But that's all it takes when someone's running into space at that speed. Oh, Manu. He does get it away. Impossible to stop. Walker. Maybe time for one more play. Not quite. Siren goes. Ref was a split second early, but matters not. Well, the Roosters, as efficient and as brilliant as ever, 20 points to nil over the fourth place Cronulla Sharks. This Roosters side led by James Tedesco, Greg Alexander. He has been back to his best. Uh, simply outstanding, James Tedesco tonight. And, and look, they have had contributions from everyone. It has been a great team performance. That's why they lead 20-0. But he has been terrific. Couple of tries. He's scored a try himself. Been involved in just about everything. Run for over 100 metres. The Sharks make their way out, Dan. They've got a lot of work to do. Uh, and I think their key players certainly need to stand up. They need to control the ball. They need to be better at the other end of the field when they're on the attack. I, I think Blake Braley, who was outstanding for the last week mm. in their win over the Gold Coast Titans, particularly in the second half when they needed it. So, at a dummy half, if he can threaten around the ruck, that might get the Sharks on the front foot. I mentioned before halftime some of those blistering first halves the Roosters have put together, and they didn't really go on with it in most of those contests. Now, they didn't really, except for the Parramatta game in Magic Ground, let their opposition back, but they didn't put the foot down as well, so perhaps that's a challenge for them to really put a score on the board here. It's a beautiful night here in the Shire. Weather had threatened during the afternoon. In fact, there was lightning off in the distance, but it stayed away, and uh, we haven't got a kicking tee. Well, that's just Cronulla's night wrapped up right there. A slight pause in play here on this Super Saturday. Luke Keary had his woes uh, with a knock to the head, but he's been dynamic. There's a mad, frantic search for a kicking tee on the sideline at the moment. We're going to have to have someone stand there with a finger on the ball the way this is going. They're emptying bags, kit bags. They're, they're searching under chairs. <laughs> Someone's saying it's a billion-dollar game. How can you not have a kicking tee? Hang on. What? We've got one. Mark Noakes. There, here we go. Well, where was that? Now, I don't think there's any funny business going on. In boxing, you often see the strapping come off at an inopportune time, but I <laughs> don't think there was any uh, anything deliberate there. All right. Second half begins from Points Pet Stadium. That's Fletcher Baker. Moving into the debutant, Tom Hazelton. Teague Wilton there as well. Four tries in the first half. This man was so good. Joseph Suwali. Doesn't mind a tough run. He doesn't mind a tough hit as well. Butcher, one of the try scorers. Now Watson. So Hutchison has been on throughout. Magnificent pass to set up one of the early tries. A tidy set to open for the try colours. And again, the familiar kick straight to Mulatalo. With a lovely line of defenders there waiting for him. So now Hines. About to spread onto Tracy, but. Just happy to take the tackle. Well, ball movement had been the feature of the Sharks play in the first five or six rounds. It seems to have dropped off a bit. 
They found Talakai a few times in that first half. Eight runs, and he, he troubled Manu a couple of times. For Vida. Comes out to the Talakai side, but Wilton happy to cart it up. So Kennedy winning the chase here. He's got some helpers coming with him. As we go down to find out what was said at halftime, here's Jake Duke. Yeah, the message from Trent Robinson, really simple. The job is not done yet. He wants his side to keep kicking the Sharks back into their own half and be highly disciplined to close this one out. Well, Craig Fitzgibbon, he was fired up in his side's effort. He wanted more pride in their defence. The Sharks had 15 missed tackles to the Roosters, seven missed tackles in the first half, and the Roosters had six line breaks to one. So he really wants that cleaned up if they're to get back in this side, into this game. Thank you, Jake. Three there, bring Butcher down. Right now, we'll bring a live ladder up a little later. Roosters actually ahead of the Sharks because of this for and against domination. But there's a rare error. Baker puts it down and a little tardy, the Roosters. A ball here coming for the Sharks inside Roosters territory. Yeah, it was another offload from Angus Crichton down that left side again, standing in the tackle, but... As play continued, the pass from Walker just behind Baker. Hard one to pull in for a front rower. There we go. So uh, you see how congested it is. Look at the Broncos in the top four, but the Roosters, they're not going away. So Sydney getting to 12 points with that win as Moylan into a surging Tracy. Is this where it begins for the Sharks? Tolman. He's back and wait and allow him to cross the 20. Now he's Moylan. He's got Fafida. He uses him as a decoy. Hines. Now Kennedy tries to fashion the pass, but there's too many defenders there. But we've got a player held out of it. Yeah, Talakai held off the ball there as uh, Will Kennedy tried to get his pass up underneath one of the Roosters' defenders. Big opportunity here for, for the Sharks. They, they need to score first in this second stanza. Preferably nice and early. Now Braley. For feeder. Just a metre away. Loose pass and rushing up and not believing his luck is Keary. Came up to put pressure on the defence and he ended up collecting the ball. Well, whoever was in marker then for the Roosters just grabbed the arm of Blake Braley. That's why the pass had no power in it. Just trickled out there to the first receiver and Keary was able to jump on the ball. Bit of urgency. Just watch it here. And it was Hutchison who could have easily been penalised. Easily been penalised. He does a lot of little things, doesn't he, Hutchison? So feeds it on to Watson. Roosters thought that was high. Atkins had a good look at that, said it was fine. Just inside the 40, Kiri goes for distance. And when you agree with the decision to let play go on it is another example of the Sharks getting down near the try line and not even getting through the set here's a penalty so again the door opens haven't been able to go through but then again they'll start a set in pretty good field position Here's the offload. Delightful. Talakai. Watson and Tupanua do enough. The help of Baker as well. On the 20, it's Braley with Moylan delaying the pass. Hines. McClora will red. And with Sam Walker around the waist. Braley threatened to go the short side. Comes to the open. Feeds it on to Tolman. Only midway through the count here. Hazelton. They've got that covered, the Roosters, as close as Hazelton gets. 
Bruce is happy to delay things. Hines. The umbrella style defense of the Roosters, but they are offside. So six more tackles. Walker again rushing up as he tries to stop the progress of Nakora and does. Ball comes out, penalty. If you don't believe that's a strip, you can challenge it. Oh, the strip, that's what they've been penalised. Britton Nakora, you're right. Walker getting up off the line quickly on the bigger man. Not much it looks like Fafita can do here. Well, they must get a result out of all of this. Braley. Moylan. They're just confused by this Roosters defence. Braley again goes right. Hines. Nakora. Strong legs tackle to Panua. Nakora up slowly. Braley goes wide. Moylan the tap on. Wilton. Silky. Kennedy. Hutchison. Legal. They've got all the answers at the moment, the Roosters. Hines thought about kicking. Six more tackles. It doesn't seem to bother the Roosters, though. How much more pressure can they stand, though? Great tackle. Again, Sam Walker. Just rushing up and cutting the corner off. Lob to Hazelton. Here, imploring defenders to come to Cronulla's left. That's where Braley goes. Moylan delays it. Kennedy. Again, close to the mark. Again, legal. Fafita. Oh, straight over Walker. Then the scoop. Now Tracy. Well, here we go. The last play. Braley. Hines rushing up on him there was Kiri. Talakai cut off. Oh, they've done it, the Roosters. Cronulla just cannot find a way through. Was that three complete sets? I know, I know six again was ruled halfway through a couple of them, but it, it had to be at least 20 tackles that the Roosters have just defended their own line. James Tedesco mentioned it as he was asked the question, what impressed you in the first half as he walked off the field? He said, our line speed and our defence. That was courageous stuff there from the Roosters. Bobrovsky back inside. There's Tedesco bobbing and shaking off Tolman and getting past for feeder and slipping by Kennedy and weaving away from Heights. Oh, what a run. And still three tackles left. Well, this would be devastating if they come up the other end and score. Butcher inside Hazelton and Braley. Oh, and then Tolman. Then the offload. Watson finds Baker. Back it comes for Crichton. Away from Kennedy. Hyde holds on. Late pass. Warrior Hargreaves. Oh, wow. It's incredible. <laughs> this, this is just stunning from the Sydney Roosters. Well, the Sharks threw everything at them down the other end of the field, and it quite often happens, doesn't it? A team will spend an eternity down attacking a line. The defence is too good, and then within another set, they go up the other end and score a try after a fantastic weaving run there from James Tedesco. The travelled 50 or 60 metres. They keep the ball alive. The Sharks aren't doing a whole lot wrong. The, the, the Roosters are on fire tonight. Look at the football they are playing. The offloads again, Crichton back down the centre as he's falling. Gets it out to Warrior Hargreaves. A big show of the ball. And the front rower crashes over for what was a spectacular three or four tackles from the other end of the field to a try to Warrior Hargreaves. Throws a great dummy. That's got to be as good a five minutes as they've produced all year. That defence, followed up by that sparkling attack. 
Seems to save his best for Cronulla games. Gerald Aurea Hargreaves, he had 200 metres last year. He's closing in on 100 tonight. It gets uh, the finish there. And just look at the energy that they hit like after defending. And it, there, there must have been 20 tackles that they they held their line on their own try line. The energy that they bobbed up with immediately. Just all out attack. Tedesco wow. right through the centre of the ruck of the, the Sharks. Weren't they supposed to be old and clunky and on the way out? Not going by tonight. This is a big reality check for the Sharks. But this is what the Sharks have been like over the last six weeks. Like that, they were they were very ordinary against Brisbane a month ago. They they were horrible in Magic Round. Like it's all of a sudden as Momorowski's kick misses. Um, all of a sudden, that great football that we saw the Sharks play, it's, it's disappeared. Well, you said it, loss, win, loss, win, loss, win. Now threatens to be a loss here. As we drink this in, Momorowski's pass into Desco. Always lurking around the middle. What an effortless run too. There was only a couple of tackle busts, but he must have beat five or six players, like weaving in and out. Stopping, starting. It was uh, a terrific run from him. So five tries, goal kicking a touch off. Take it off Tom. Interesting, Walker has been kicking okay, hasn't he? Two from four, but he's been striking them reasonably. Morowski taking that shot. Well, they're lining up here, the Roosters. It's Fletcher Baker. Watson now looking to run first, but just happy to provide Tupanua keeping it going. It's all sticking, isn't it, for the Roosters? The offloads, eight offloads so far. The Roosters, we know the floor of their game the last 18 months has been against teams higher than them on the ladder, particularly Penrith. And issues with Melbourne as well, but they've won three of their last 11 against teams higher on them, higher than them on the ladder. I'm going to slightly even that up tonight, it would seem. Seventh versus fourth coming into this game. Rudolph. Strong run. So, not really much you can do, but just kick it long to Tedesco. Oh, we might have caught one there from the Cora. And Grant Atkins again says that's okay. Well, the Roosters got away with a couple that were close to the mark. Trying to load up here, the Sharks, to force something. Suwali. It's Wilton and Rudolph. They're almost bent back in that tackle. Oh, Momorowski straight into Hazelton. Good play the ball. Watson now to Tesco. He's an offload. So another set completed. 20 to nil at half time. And one try to Warrior Hargreaves. Oh, since the resumption now. Ooh, that hurt. That's Suwali's in a bit of trouble here. And it was a footwork of Mulatalo there. Looked like he was going infield and then stepped hard off the right, came back at Joseph Suwali. Mm. Accidental elbow, perhaps. Just put his head in the wrong spot. Top of the arm there. Yes. Now looking at a bumper situation. Mulatalo has done something wrong. That's obviously an accident. He stayed on the stay field. on, Joseph. Okay. 
Craig Fitzgibbon's obviously searching for something here, boys, because Braden Trindle, who's normally a halfback, is out there playing in a middle forward role. We've seen with the ball there now. But obviously, Nico Hines, Matt Moylan, and uh, Young Braley are still out there as well. So they're searching for some points, Cronulla. Yeah, and they've got their regular spine back tonight, too. Here's Hines. Right. In this couple of weeks, we've had different fullbacks. Hines was fullback two weeks ago. Into it and uh, Suwali misses that tackle. And now the pass from Talakai away to Mulatalo. And he's got a score. And finally, the Cronulla Sharks are on the board. They're going to have a look at this, I'm sure. There, there was a bit of contact back on the inside. There might have been a rooster denied after Talakai headed back infield, then immediately went Tim back out he did a great job Mulatalo uh, he had too much space too much speed for Joseph Sawali as they went down the left and Hines skipped across behind the ruck and then Moylan fired a bullet pass out there Sawali misses the tackle on his hands up on the inside as he puts a great move on James Tedesco the big swerve from Ronaldo Mulatalo. Just keep an eye on Crichton as well. And if there's anything to look at after the put down. So, well, you wonder if he's right there. I know that's Talakai running over him, but so well, he wasn't in the contest. No, the, it was the footwork of Talakai that, that really beat Sawali, and then he had too much speed and an unenviable. Enviable position for the fullback James Tedesco as Mulatalo is coming at him at, at pace. It's a bit of him, but not enough. Yeah. Crichton came across. No real you, contact, no, though. No, went over the top of him. And when Mulatalo got up, you thought there might have been a problem. So try confirmed. Just a little spark for the Sharks. They need to be perfect from here. This has to go over. Well, here he's worked out this local knowledge pretty quickly, Nico. 24 points to six. Down to you, Jake Duke. Yeah, we're just talking about Joseph Suwali. He has actually come from the field for a HIA after that collision there. So a bit of a reshuffle for the Roosters. But this left side attack for Canola, this is where the points are going to come from. They've scored 19 tries down here this season, the highest percentage of any side in the competition. So Ronaldo Molotalo, he's got 18 line breaks for the competition as well in his 50th match. There it is there, 35 tries. So he is uh, one of their go-to men, and they've got a, a try on the board. Can they get another 18 points and get back in this game? Thank you, Jake. Yeah, 29 it started for Ronaldo. And Rudolph brings it back tomorrow. Good day here on Fox League. You've got a back to Belmore game, Bulldogs and Dragons. Dogs, not a great record at Belmore, but uh, in, in recent years, but that's a good local derby. That, that should get a nice crowd on a sunny Sunday afternoon in Sydney. This comes across now. This is imposing. Here's Katoa just weaving inside Momorowski. Oh, they've woken up here. And the Roosters starting to miss some tackles. Hines back on the inside. Kennedy for Nakora. Oh, Kennedy, no. On that previous play the ball, you were downfield. He was in front of the play the ball. What a let off for the Roosters. The Sharks were just building something. Well, that is that odd rule that's popped up a couple of times in the last few seasons. Will Kennedy in front of the play the ball. Once he received the ball, that was it. Yeah. The correct ruling. It is funny how they've really latched onto that, but it is the correct ruling. Oh, yeah, there he is. He's, yeah, he's in front of the plane. The Roosters now back on the attack. Been a few minutes since they've been down here. He's Kiri at the line. Always looked like he was going to go inside to Takayaho. Watson. 
Walker's left foot. Got inside Kennedy. Almost gets to the line. Six more tackles as well. Out the back it comes. Collins, Takayaho. Maria Hargreaves, he's just yearning for the ball. Yeah. Oh, he wanted it too much. Ooh, maybe he thinks he can get himself a double. Jake Duke, you've got some news. Yeah, Joseph Sawale deemed a Category 1 HIA, so his afternoon or evening is over. You've got Joey Manu out here on the right wing, and it looks like uh, Satili Tupanua is in at right centre for the Roosters. Thank you, Jake. I, I, th I thought it was as plain as the nose on your face that it was a Category 1 immediately. I, I don't know why Joseph Sawale was allowed to stay on the field. It's not a perfect system, is it? Katoa now. By the way, the old oh, Katoa, he goes for the pass. And it comes away now for Waria Harker as well. They've got a force at Cronulla. And that has brought about an error. And it goes to Momorowski. Midway through this second half now. And Trindle, a nice tackle around the legs of Crichton. I think that pass out of dummy half may have been forward. And they've stacked the left here, Kiri. And they're ready for Crichton with Rudolph and Nakora there. Now Tedesco. Joey Manu. Talakai with the tackle. Last play, Tedesco. He's caught, he's gone. Well, there's a rare blue from Tedesco. Not that it's all that damaging. It's got the Sharks now stuck a couple of metres out from their line. You could almost see his thinking then. No, it, no surprise to see him go down that short side. It, it wasn't on, though. Brunella had three defenders down Ooh, there. This is, uh, this is quite intimidating here, working it out from the corner. Ooh. Oh, Talakai! And all over him was Maria Hargreaves. And as flash of the, as they've been with the ball, it's been their defence, the Roosters tonight, that has been super impressive. Yeah, we're getting outside the 10. McInnes. Boylan, no look. Talakai pushing off Kiri. And Mizzy ran into Mulatalo. Tidy has played the ball, but Moylan. Once goes long. Tracy, oh, he had Momorowski slipping. But Walker, important from the inside. Owens from inside the 40. Not a bad kick in the end. Tedesco's got it covered. Done pretty well there, the Sharks, really. They started deep in their own territory. And they need points, that's the problem. Tedesco. Yeah, Daniel Tupo looming up on the outside there. Decided to hang on to it. Two tries so far for Tupo. The run for Angus Crichton. It's his 11th. Been dangerous, but pretty well covered most of the night. Bustling run. That's his 16th run. Watson. Thought about the offload. The Roosters get to the end of the set. He's Walker on the last. Gets rid of it. Crichton. Kiri. All in one motion, putting boot to ball. Kennedy keeps it going. Now Moylan. Back it comes for Ronaldo, and he's away. Tedesco sweeps across. Ronaldo gets by him. Big tackle, Manu. Crowd goes back down into their seats. Oh, that was so close. And that's six more tackles, but the crowd wants ten in the bin. Oh, they're apoplectic in the stand here. McInnes. Try, he would make it interesting. On the 20. 
Hines. Coming back. But not evading Warrior Hargreaves. Guinness tries to put some footwork on, but no match for Collins. Two players left here. Trindle. Oh, Beautiful yes. edge, Tracy. Oh, yes, Sione Katoa. Maybe they're not done with yet, the Sharks. And there's plenty of time on their side. 15 minutes still to go, Dan, and it all started down the other end of the field. They shifted the ball from the Sharks deep in their own territory. And it was Moylan combining with Bulatalo back on the inside. Plenty of chase gone across and past the football. Gets around Tedesco, Joey Manu makes the tackle, and then a few plays later, they get to centre field, shift it right, and it was the hands from Connor Tracy. Beautiful out to the other winger. So both wingers involved heavily in that Sharks try. And you're right. The try there was. Well, it does. They've, they've got some life in them, the Sharks. If he can slot this from the sideline, two converted tries. 14 minutes we've seen we've seen a lot better than that in the past we've seen tries we've seen a couple of tries running in the last couple of minutes so anything can happen and the Sharks scoring then does keep this one alive oh, the crowd nearly lost it didn't they with uh, was it Manu laying on Mulatalo there but he got his timing evidently just right Hines coming back. Oh. No! And those posts at the northern end have been magnets. So they still need three scores in 14 minutes. Yes, the only Katoa is known as the Cronulla contortionist, the way he contorts his body to score some of these freakish tries. He shows it off there as he gets Cronulla back in this game. And he actually started the season really well in try scoring form. He had five tries in his first five games of this season but then since then he'd only had one try in his previous five games but he gets a really important one there for the Sharks who watch Nico Hines just watch that one clip the upright which makes it a 14 point buffer and there's the great Galza watching on as well can he sharp to get it done and there he is enjoying a beer he hasn't got a fight to get ready for has he so he can in, he sit back and enjoy one move Rudolph brought down Katoa now, that's the box set. Bruce is the only club he hadn't scored against, but makes a bird of that. Well, the Sharks, they still don't have that much time to waste here. Oh, if only that kick went over. McInnes, Hines, deep is Kennedy. On the unfamiliar right side, Tracy's causing him a couple of issues. That's good meters there from the Sharks. No line break, but they've turned the Roosters around. Can they make something of it down this short side? Mm, tricky play there, but Hines will contain. That's Watson with the tackle. Uh, it won't be Hines kicking, and it's Trindle. And he can certainly kick. And Tedesco. Oh, Moylan. Yep. They got him. They got him there. Well, it was just the footwork of Tedesco there. Just split the two defenders. Geez, that's a big gap. Uh, Moylan reaching. Mm. Well, Katoa didn't help things either. And both players just hanging out the arm. Probably Katoa then. Probably right. Is the one penalised? Much of it. You know, so they, they, they can't waste any time and they can't. They nearly have to be perfect, the Sharks. Yeah, well, the stats are actually pretty similar. It's just the efficiency of the Roosters and their goal line defence, which is the main cause for this separation on the scoreboard. Dakayaho. Wooten chopping at the arm. And the sprint from Watson. Oh, he's gone for the pass there. Yeah, it's a knock on. It's a knock on there. And they could, they could challenge this. 
We haven't had an official challenge tonight. Okay, I'll check it. Hi, Ash. My mate, Roosters are disputing the decision of a knock-on from Jarrett. Previous tackle was four, so if it comes back, it'll come back. Didn't have a classic knock-on look about it, did it? Well, I, I thought he pushed it backwards. I thought Keary must have knocked it on when he tried to retrieve it. Just catches. Oh, that might be the problem. He it catches is an into play by Jared Hargraves, which is backwards. He then touches it again, just having a look to see which direction that goes. Yeah. So he's definitely pushed it back into Brayley. He then, the ball sits up and then he, he whacks it with his hand. Don't forget he's got to have the evidence to overturn this. Ooh. I don't think he's going to get that, Brandy. Oh, I don't either. He touched his hand and just popped up his ear. But... After touching the left hand of Joe Warrior Hargraves, the ball continues to travel forward towards the opponent. Well, they haven't had many 50-50s go their way, the, the Sharks. So they get one there and importantly get it going their way had to get that didn't they had to get that so again the roosters not a blistering second half after the first half domination sharks here to use their challenge Scored two tries, they have to score three more. And yeah, their last few sets coming out of trouble have been very good. They've made lots of metres as they get Talakai. Almost. Oh. <coughs> gone. Gone. <laughs> penalty. Penalty. Play on. It is play on and it's Moylan. He was too smart for them. Boy, the feeling has changed here. Well, they need points on the board. McInnes. Trindle. On it goes for Hines. Engaging Momorowski. The tackle from the Rooster Centre. But quick into their work here. Over the 20 with Rudolph. Powering to the 10. Trindle the dummy. The show and go. Good quick play the ball. Braley. McInnes. Oh yes! That's three tries! It's not over! And Cronulla out of nowhere are coming home like a train! That was smart play up the other end of the field from Matt Moyle and the quick tap. Got the Sharks on the front foot. Roosters backwards going back pedalling and... McKittis. No one expected him to throw the big dummy like Maria Hargreaves for the Roosters. Here's Matt Moyle and the tap and down that touchline comes back in centre field. And then a couple of plays later, Braley jumps left, comes right, and it fools Angus Crichton, the dummy from Cameron McInnes. And here they come, the Sharks. Well, we did last night's game, and I think we half expected the Broncos were gonna mount a comeback against the Titans. This has come from nowhere. The Roosters were so comfortable and they still have a two-score lead here. But there's enough time. Well, the fact the Roosters okay, scored mate. the first just try in the second half, just you, you, review, you just thought that it wasn't going to oh, be the Sharks. Hang on, hang on. Let's put the comeback talks on hold here. I'm not on the screen here. Tries on review. Okay. Is it the put down? Well, it didn't yeah, look the but let's make a bird of this. So Collins with the tackle. He's got work to. Oh, he's. Oh. oh it's... <laughs> well, we know when they take Cameron it up. Cameron McInnes maintains position and grounds the ball. It's usually reversed, but not this time. Bit of drama from Ashley Klein. It was coming out, but it never actually left his hand. Now. Uh, which is nice to see after the Newcastle one a couple of weeks ago. Never re never came out of his head. It was coming out. All right, 
Would you have been surprised if he said no try there? Nothing would surprise me, Greg Alexander. Just have a look at it again. McKinnis, the big dummy. Yeah. You can understand <laughs> why they went upstairs and had a look. You can understand. You know, no problem with them having a look. His hand was coming off the ball, but it stayed on it, but, and, and it was still on it when it touched the ground. It's a good put down. Look how high he had his arm because of the Collins tackle. So the Roosters have got a bit of work to do here just to close this down. Roosters at the old footy stadium led the Sharks 24-0 and somehow lost that one. 24-0 started the well, early in the second half. Hines goes long. Moylan cuts out and oh Talakai straight over to Panua. The second wave is there, but it gets the crowd fired up. Again, the meters are just flowing here for Cronulla. Now oh, Tracy, his hands have been deadly in this second half. Well, this is the Sharks of the opening six rounds. The ball movement, tremendous from them. And Tedesco. Oh, puts down a sitter! Knock on! James Tedesco tangled up in traffic. He has swallowed those up all night. Well, I think he's in shock because he got himself in a position to take this one and rarely does he do that. No shark really challenging for the ball there. His own, his own players that were closest to him and he was able to clean it up, but the Sharks, eight points down. Well inside the final 10 minutes, but still plenty of time. The Roosters have hit a wall. Talakai left. They try and isolate him here. Oh, Moylan. And six again given away. That's a familiar play from the Roosters. Off a scrum with Kiri up in the face of Moylan. Rudolph. Cronulla all of a sudden full of confidence. Trindle. Neat little pass for Nakora. And Crichton all over it. Walker was there to help. Back it comes from Moylan. Here's Kennedy. Now Talakai. Hands for Mulatalo. An untimely slip. But he stays in. And again, he's been in the wars, Mulatalo. Gets up slowly. Roosters again rush up. Cronulla spread. Hines now. On it goes to Katoa. Tracy gets in the way, but no one impeded. But Katoa thrown over the sideline. And just when they needed it, the Roosters come up with a big defensive play. The ball movement from the Sharks has been amazing. I don't know what's happened to them. The difference we've seen in the second half from Cronulla, that's a clever pass there from Sifatalakai. Got it under the arms of one of the, the Roosters' defenders. And then Katoa... Runs into Tupo and Momorowski and can't get to ground. He was always in danger the moment that they held him up. Oh, six minutes left. It's like the Sharks last week. Struggled in the first half against the Titans. Weren't behind, though but then clicked in the gear in the second half, and they've done the same. Maria Hargreaves ran in the first try of the second uh, of the second half. He thought it was all over. Doesn't that seem like a while ago when he had a big smile on his face? And, uh, well, the cricket score was on the way. Again, struggle to get through a set, but they make it to the end. Good deep kick. Talo, nowhere to go. Oh, there's Rafida. Well, wouldn't that be something if he came on at the death and was the hero in game 200? His offloading could be handy, but not much time for him to get back into the game. 
Holmes eventually gets off Tracy. Oh, poor, he's through Rudolph. But that was an important tackle from Butcher. Quick play of the ball, though. Hines on the run. Tupanua rushed up and Talakai leaves it. Oh. And now Manu's away. She's all over. And Joseph Manu puts an end to this contest. And the Roosters finally are going to get the victory. Boy, they've been made to work in the second half. But again, it was a set where the Sharks had the Roosters backpedalling. Tough run there from Toby Rudolph, who has been in the second half the hardest running front rower out in the field. The lofted pass out to Talakai from Nico Hines, just over the fingertips, and beautifully scooped up there from Joey Manu. And there wasn't a shark in sight because they were all headed the other way. Nico Hines, just too tough to drag in. Great pick up, front on, terrific angle of that. And Manu, well, he can just trot the ball into the in-goal area. There was a comeback on the cards. The, the football that the Sharks have played in the last 20 minutes hasn't happened much over the last four or five weeks. That's, that's as good as they've looked. Mm. That little period there, that, that's as good as they've looked in the last month and a bit. So Manu engaged in that battle with Talakai as the final say, it would seem. Remarkably, the Sharks have had nearly well, three and a half times as many tackles in the opposition 20. They've had more tackles in the Roosters' half than the other way. So they've, they've had all the territory. Yeah, well, the three sets that they spent down that end in the, 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 the beginning of the second half, when they didn't score a try, and then Maria Hargreaves scores at the other end off the first set that the Roosters had, well, you thought, well, that, that is it. The Sharks haven't got enough to beat the Roosters, who were on five for the, for the opening 50 minutes. It was 24-0 after 52 minutes. A stirring comeback from the Sharks, but it's going to fall short. People that might have clicked around 20 nil at half time, they're going to see 30 to 16. They're going to think, well, what was all the fuss about? But oh no, boy, they've let some, some chances go, the Sharks. Joey Manu, his seventh try for the year. And it, it could be a good period here for the Roosters because this is normally when they are decimated by origin, but it shouldn't be as damaging, really, as, as it so often is Tedesco, obviously. Collins, almost certainly. Maybe Angus Crichton as well, but not going to do the damage to them that it might do to the likes of Penrith in particular. So they're knocking on the door of the top four as we cross the halfway mark of the season. Plenty for the team back in the Clive Churchill studio with uh, Jess and the crew to sift through from this game. Oh, there's an offload from Takayaho. Collins. He's had the ball stripped. Trindle able to pull it out. One on one steal. Terrell May there making a tackle. He's just entered the fray with a few minutes to go. Yeah, not much game time yet. Good stint last week. Quite busy. Oh, oh, he's done it again. That's a lovely intercept. Now they're converging on him. He's in second gear. Braley, though, holds his ground. And Manu doesn't panic. Well, now they can really rub it in here. There is Terrell May. Second first grade game. And it comes out. And it comes out illegally via a strip. Oh, Joey Manu's intercept there. Effortless. Brilliantly done. So then Tapayaho. Crowd starting to leave here. They're going to go home disappointed. They'll be encouraged by what they've seen in the second half, but... A little bit of work to do for the Sharks as now Kiri's pass. Crichton cut off. Oh, 
poor of you. It's nose to nose. Kakayaha on the May and moiling up in his face. Stack the right here, but going himself is Watson, and it just opens up and he strolls over. So they're finishing in style, the Roosters. <laughs> Scoring the last two tries of the night as Connor Watson gets this margin ballooning. It will it'll be 20 points to the Roosters. Yeah, well, it was Drew Hutchison who set up their first try. The replacement hooker, Connor Watson, comes on and scores the final try for the Roosters tonight. A lot of space there. Not much work from the markers as he gets across the line. Teague Wilton on top of him. And it was a dominant 50 minutes from them. They had to survive a, a mini comeback from the Sharks who laid on three tries in a 15 minute period. Uh, I, I think that's a fair indication of the 80 minutes of football. 34 to 16 kick to come to make it 36. The former Prime Minister in the crowd there. He's been busy. He was at the Swans last night. So, uh, I suppose a little less busy. Connor Watson. Good try for him. Well, you would. You wouldn't you go to the footy. You, 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 you're not in your old job. You'd go to the footy. Paul Gallon. Paul Gallon's not boxing. He's here having That's a beer and enjoying you? himself. Come to Shark Park and Knock the top off one. So Sam Walker puts it through. And in the end, it's a comfortable win for the Roosters. But that second half was anything but. Full time at Points Bet Stadium. Sydney Roosters 36, Cronulla Sharks 16.